What's up guys, Takedown here and in today's video I'm going to be talking about and sharing my predictions on WWE Backlash 2018 and uh, let's just get right into it, I have all the matchups right in front of me. Starting off strong in my opinion we have Daniel Bryan, his return to a one-on-one -on -one action at pay-per-view, he was at the Great Greatest Royal Rumble but this is his first one-on-one -on -one at a pay-per-view since his return from retirement so Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass. Big Cass went to SmackDown with the Superstars change or shakeup, uh, coming back from his injury. I think they're going to be pushing Big Cass in a big way. I think he's going to be the United States champion down the road. We shall see. I really want, I know people are going to hate me for this. I really want Big Cass to win, but I see Daniel Bryan win. Of course, Daniel Bryan is just coming back. Of course, they want to keep the momentum going for Daniel Bryan. This is supposed to be... Uh, something big coming for Big Cass, so that's why I'm thinking Big Cass is going to win, but we're likely going to see Daniel Bryan win, in my opinion. Next up, we have SmackDown Women's Champion Carmella versus Charlotte Flair. Carmella cashed in her Money in the Bank on Charlotte's the SmackDown after Mania, which I think was a smart move. I would have rather see her cash in at Mania. It is what it is, but I want to see Carmella win. I really do. I'd rather see Carmella, Carmella as a champion than Charlotte Flair. I'm not, I don't really like Charlotte. I think she's been given everything. I don't think she's earned too much in the ring uh, just because of her last name. I think that's why she's gotten so much as she has. Um, but I think I really want Carmella to win. I think Carmella is going to win this match some way. Maybe interference. We shall see. But I think Carmella is going to win. Next up, we have the Raw Women's Champion, Nia Jax versus Alexa Bliss. I'm a huge Alexa Bliss fan, but Alexa Bliss is really small, especially compared to Nia Jax. The only thing going for Alexa Bliss is her speed, but Nia Jax is going to catch her, I think, just like Mania. I really want Alexa Bliss to win the championship back, but I think Nia Jax is going to win. So I'm going to say Nia Jax. Unfortunately, I'd rather see Alexa Bliss the champion, but... It's Nia Jax. I just wonder who's going to stop her down the road. That's that's going to be really interesting to see. Next up, we have the Intercontinent, Intercontinental Champion, Seth Rollins versus The Myth. Rollins and the Intercontinental Championship are on Raw. The Miz got sent to SmackDown. Uh, they faced in a Fatal 4-Way match at Greatest Royal Rumble, and they're having a one-on-one -on -one match now at Backlash, so I don't know. I'd rather see Miz, in my opinion, the champion, because the Intercontinental Championship, in my opinion, is the Miz's title. Uh, he's held it for, a little, I think, the one of the longest of the modern era. Era, not area, frick. And, uh, but I like how Seth Rollins is the champion. I'm going to say Seth Rollins is going to win, because this match makes no sense if Miz wins, because both the Intercontinental and the United States are going to be on, on SmackDown. So, of course, I think it's going to be, I'm going to have to give it to Seth Rollins. Of course, Raw is not going to want to lose a championship. I think it's going to go to Raw. So, Seth Rollins is going to win. Next up, we have Roman Reigns versus Samoa Joe. Reigns on Raw. Samoa Joe got sent in the Superstar Shake-Up to SmackDown. As much as I think Roman Reigns is going to win, I'm going to put my money on Samoa Joe just because I think now that he's on SmackDown, he has a big future for him it's not just going to be basically he'll be able to go for the wwe championship the only major title in the wwe right now that has been defended often way more than the universal championship but that's because brock lesnar has it so i think samoa joe is going to win and that's going to put him in the wwe title picture down the road hopefully soon we shall see and speaking of the wwe championship we have aj styles the wwe champion versus shinsuke nakamura it was a draw at uh, Greatest Royal Rumble, I believe. Um, I predicted at WrestleMania, Shinsuke was going to win. I predicted at Greatest Royal Rumble, Shinsuke was going to win. So what am I going to predict for Backlash? Shinsuke is going to win. I don't think AJ Styles is going to do three for three. I think Shinsuke is going to win. I think their feud's going to continue. And I think AJ Styles might win it back. Or at least he's going to be challenging him for it back. But I do think Shinsuke is going to win. It just makes sense. Why having a repeat match? Um, I like how the feud's going better now. I like how Shinsuke is going towards heel. I think he's going to do way better as a heel. I think he's going to have a lot more opportunity as a heel. But we shall see. It's going to be really interesting. But this time, I'm still going to say Shinsuke is going to win. 
So I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did like it. Comment down below what your predictions for Backlash are. These are my predictions as of April 30th. They might change. Tomorrow is SmackDown. It is this coming Sunday, but something might change tomorrow. We shall see. But this is what they are as of right now. So this is what my predictions are as of right now. Anyways, I will leave this video here. Comment down below, like I said, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.